Single vibrators or weight and multi vibrators occupy an intermediate position between combinational microcircuits and microcircuits with internal memory. Their outcoming signals cannot be detected precisely by the incoming signals, as it happens in combinational microcircuits. At the same time, they can store up data for a long time. Single vibrators are microcircuits, which in response to the incoming signal, logical level or front, form an outlet signal of a set duration. The duration of the impulse is determined by the external time-setting resistors and condensers. Single vibrators are marked as J1 on the schemes. Standard series of microcircuits include single vibrators of the following types. Single vibrators without restart, the Russian series AG1 and AG4, single vibrators with restart series AG3. The single vibrator without restart does not react to the incoming signal until the termination of its incoming impulse. The single vibrator with restart starts counting out the new time of exposure, T, with every incoming signal, no matter whether the former time of exposure has come to an end. If the sequence period of the incoming signals is less than the exposure time, T, the single vibrator incoming impulse does not break off. If the sequence period of the incoming impulse exceeds the time of exposure, T, both types of vibrators work in the same way. Microcircuits have launching inlets united with each other and or straight and inverse outlets, as well as outlets for connecting external time-setting circuits, resistors and condensers. All the single vibrators are launched by the front of the resulting incoming signal. Implementing the unification of the microcircuit inlets allows launching them both along the positive and the negative front of the incoming signal. The most widespread examples of applying single vibrators are increasing the duration of the incoming impulse, decreasing the duration of the incoming impulse, dividing the frequency of the incoming signal by a set number of times, forming the signal of the envelope sequence of the incoming impulses. Another important application of single vibrators is the suppression contact button jingling. The single vibrator with an increased time of exposure of 10 fractions of a second are reliable in suppressing parasitic impulses, appearing due to the contact jingling and from perfect impulses for every pressing of the button. Single vibrators also may be used for constructing generators of rectangular impulses with various values of impulse duration and pauses between them. The two single vibrators are united into a ring in such a way that each of them launches the other as the outlet impulse ceases. Measuring the nominals of resistors and condensers, the needed ratios of impulse duration and pauses may be obtained.